Hey guys, coming in today for another awesome video. We are going to be talking all about home insurance with my great home insurance. So you know I validate this video. <laughs> so jumping right on into it, tell us who you are. Yeah, so my name is Tyler Ross. I'm with Alpha Insurance. My office is here in Huntsville. Been been in the industry for 10 years. I've been in my own office for, for most of those. So yeah, that's me. Awesome. Well, so guys, when you get under contract on a house and you're kind of going in the process, you're over flooded with inspections and appraisals and all this stuff. And then you randomly get told, hey, you need home insurance and you need it now. So this will give you kind of an idea of what home insurance should be, how they're different and everything like that. So just yeah. jumping right off into it, tell us a little bit about what home insurance even is so good question yeah and, and it is so a lot of times people's introduction to home insurance is when they have they've gotten their contract they finally get that house they find the yeah. house roxy helps you get it you got pre-approved you're all the way to the steps of now let's get in the house well one of those things you'll have to do is get home insurance and most of the time it is rolled into your house payment and and it's one of those things if, if you don't think about it it's just an item on the list and you know so you, you really start the process when you get under contract so you get the house start to look at home insurance and it's hard to even know what to look for. The mortgage companies require you to carry it, and a lot of times it's gonna be rolled into your house payment. So you're actually not gonna pay that directly. So a lot of misinformation in insurance, but what we try to do is make it simple and make it to where you know, you've know you got several options. But what does it even cost? Like how expensive is home insurance? Yeah. So most people on average, in, in North Alabama, I would say on average, you're probably between, on an average house, $350,000 house, you're probably on average between $1,700 to $2,200 is per year. So mm -hmm. about $140 to probably $180 yeah. per month is, is kind of the average these days. And, and insurance here is a lot different than other places because of storms. We have a lot of storm activity, yeah. a lot of roof damage from that, and that, that does drive your cost of insurance up here versus some other places maybe in the you know, the Midwest where they really don't have tornadoes or storms. So, but what affects your insurance? A common question yeah. I get, why do people pay more or less than others? And a big one is the age of the house. So if your house is brand new, you're gonna pay a lot less in insurance. If you have yeah. a prior history of several claims, you're probably gonna pay more than the next person. And uh, there's a lot of different data points that go into it to really affect what your insurance cost is. So it's important to you know work with someone local who can kind of walk you through all the process and make sure you're getting you know what you really need. Yeah, exactly. Kind of like health insurance in a way mm -hmm. too. If mm -hmm. you're older and you might have more health stuff on your route, you're probably yeah. going to be paying a little bit more than health insurance exactly than someone right. in their 20s that's skipping around running marathons every weekend. <laughs> yes, exactly right. Exactly right. Yeah. Yes. So what else you got? I had another one about insurance score. I kind of did cover the the general what it is. Yeah. Kind of thing. So I don't know. What what you tell me more? What you let's need. let's do the score. We'll okay. Do the score. So guys, one thing you probably have never heard of because I know I definitely have not is what your insurance score is. So please, Tyler, tell us more about that. So insurance score is almost like this mythical number that everyone gets in the insurance world, and it's set by the insurance companies to give you a score, just like a credit score. Like your credit score is set off of you know how much debt do you have, how often you make your payments, you know how you know how many yeah. times have you paid it late. Your insurance score is kind of like that, but it's based off of what insurance companies value. So how many claims have you had? Do you switch insurance every six months? Do your, does your policy cancel all the time? Do you have any history? Are you brand new as an insurance customer or have you had insurance for 30 years? And all those things, just like your credit, impact your insurance score. So someone who is, you know, ideally the person who's been with the insurance company a long time, good claims history, yeah. pays on time, they're gonna have a really good insurance score. The, I, I, on the flip side, the person who has claims all the time and you know, their policy cancels every, you know, three times a year, they're gonna pay a little more because their insurance rating is higher. So some things behind the scenes that you may not even know that really have a big impact on your cost. Yes, exactly. And that's another reason too, that I'll tell you if you're under contract and you need a new roof or something on your house, look at how that's gonna affect you in the long run for your insurance really? cost rather than how much the roof is either gonna cost to get replaced or fixed. And nine times out of 10, roofing companies will let you pay at closing as well. Yeah, absolutely. Also, <laughs> that's it, that's it. Let's see. Ooh, okay, now we can talk about like what Alpha does and what you guys yeah. cover versus other people. Okay, so good deal, all right. So now jumping into what home insurance actually covers. If anything goes wrong, kind of what it's gonna pull into and how that all kind of works. Yeah, so at its core, most all insurance is required by the mortgage companies to cover two things. You have to have coverage for storm and you have to have coverage for fire. But there's a, there's a, home insurance is what I call a spectrum. Every company does it a little different. So like it's not a, it's not a commodity. It's not like you go and buy, 
you know, a, a car that's got four wheels, you know, it, it differs. You get tr just like trim levels in a car, you have different options you select. And, you know, that's why sometimes one cost of, of, you know, one policy may be different because you may be getting completely different coverage. So, but at its core, home insurance is designed to cover the things you would expect, water damage from a leak, but you got to be careful there. Sometimes there's policies that have limitations on that, but storms, tornado, hail damage, fire, those are some of the basic ones that are covered a lot of times, but it's important to talk to your local agent. First of all, it's important to be working with a local agent, but talking with your insurance provider to make sure you really understand what is covered and more importantly, what you're not getting because each policy has things that are not covered and it's important to know what those are now as opposed to when you actually have a claim. Yes, exactly. What would you say is the one you mainly recommend? The main, the one I recommend, the policy I personally carry is what's called homeowner's policy. It's a full replacement cost plan. It means like if the house burns down, the policy will completely rebuild my house from the ground up. It covers all your stuff inside. It covers like if somebody gets hurt. And, and it's important to find a plan that's not just covering the house, but that, that really protects you all the way yeah. around. It even covers like living expenses while you're, while you're maybe, you know, not able to live in the house because of the storm. So, and there's different options. Everybody has, you know, a different preference. Everybody has a different price point budget that they're trying to, to stick to. But, but it's important to look at your options and find one that fits, you know, fits your needs as well as your budget, you know, yeah, at the same sure. time. Yeah. So make sure you definitely look into that, guys, and you don't just go online and get someone that's super cheap because it may yes. not actually be insuring basically anything that happens with your house, and you don't want your house to randomly burn down and you yeah. have nothing. It's so. your biggest investment. A lot yeah. of times people will they'll just jump online, do a quick quote, and they really don't know what they're buying. And, and yeah. sometimes even with a local agent, if that person's not taking the time to explain it, People don't know what they're buying and with your biggest investment that you'll probably ever make in your entire life, yeah. you don't want to trust that to a quick couple clicks and a bad decision yeah. that you made that affects you five years from now, you know? Exactly, guys. So make sure you really look into it and you get someone like Tyler here who's great and actually cares and walks you through the process so you're not just getting some cheap things slapped on your house so you can close. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, doesn't Alpha have something kind of along the lines of like a home warranty as well? Mm -hmm. Could you talk yeah. a little bit more about so, that? So for our well-qualified clients, there is a coverage that Alpha now offers. It, we call it home systems protection. It's like a mini version of a home warranty included, and it's it's very unique. It's, it's something a lot of insurance companies don't offer. But like if you're, I have a client we talked to today, his HVAC went out last year. His compressor on his unit, which is, you know, just the joys of living in the southeast where it's yes. hot and humid and <laughs> things happen. And HVACs, they don't, they don't last forever. But his HVAC went out and his compressor was the problem. And it was it was going to be probably three or four thousand dollars to fix it, but they couldn't yeah. even repair it. It had to be replaced. And I, I looked at it this morning. We paid out over eight thousand dollars through his home insurance to replace his HVAC. So, Which is awesome. Yeah, it's, it's it's unique thing that we offer and, and not all policies are created equal and it's just important, like we said, just to, to make sure you're getting, you know what you're getting and making sure you're getting a good value for your dollar. Yeah, exactly. And guys, just another note here, home warranty and home insurance are two very different things. Yes. So this is an add-on product they have with their home insurance. It is not just their basic home insurance and home right. warranties are also a little bit different. So you'll yeah. have to check out a different video for home warranty. Absolutely. <laughs> just be well informed. That's the one yes. thing I'll tell anyone, right? It's great to be working with somebody local that is well connected and gives you your options like Roxy and, and you know, can give you, hey, if you want this, I've got a person who does a and B and C and can, can point you in the right direction in all things. It's yeah. huge. Okay. So now bonus tip over here. So if you bundle your house mm -hmm. and your car and like auto or whatever, mm -hmm. how much does that actually save people? It, like, it's does, is it actually worth it? You know, cause you most see it all the time. The time so. yeah. <laughs> well, most of the time, great question. Most of the time it is worth it. You know, back years ago, it was popular that maybe one insurance company was good on a car and one was good on home. So a lot of people's parents and grandparents may deal with two insurance companies, but these days, in most cases, it makes sense to bundle because it saves typically, you're gonna save probably 10 to 15% on, on your auto and you're probably gonna save 10 to 15% on your home combined. And you know, typically I would say the average saving for bundling can be easily three to six hundred dollars a year, if not more. So, yeah, it's always worth checking because, yeah. and it, you know, one less insurance agent to deal with, right? Who wants exactly. to talk to an insurance agent? You know, yes. so it's, a, it's definitely worth looking at bundling. And in most cases, it does make sense. Yeah. So guys, make sure, bonus tip, check that out too. Have them run some numbers and give you an idea on what it would be if you bundled everything with them. Absolutely. But yes, I think that's everything we have today. So I hope that gives you a little bit more of an insight into home insurance. 
She's excited. He's excited about it. <laughs> yes, and what all home insurance? <laughs> Are you talking? So it's my turn. Yeah. It's my turn to pitch in. <laughs> so y'all talked <laughs> enough. <laughs> but yes, guys, I hope that really helps you give an idea of what home insurance is, how it works, and help you give a direction for when you get to that closing table, you know where to go. And thank you so much, Tyler, for joining yeah. us. Any last things you want to say? I'm glad to be here, excited. And then whenever you're ready to put that contract in on the house, get with Roxy. When you need to insure it, get back with me. <laughs> yes, and we'll get you all hooked up, guys. Absolutely. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye. We'll see ya. That was perfect. I liked it. One take. It's pretty good. Honestly. Fabulous. Oh, yes. And, I like, and honestly, it's... it's